Unisong, dream that came true in a faraway land. The sky of the airport was gray, as if it's about to rain. One Asian man was standing amongst the crowd of white passengers getting off a plane. Hmm, I have finally arrived at the birthplace of Western music. His expression was a mixture of excitement and worries as he stepped the first step to a strange land. You could feel his determination from the way he was wearing his giant backpack. It was the time when you could rarely see an Asian in a European airport. Because of that, he could feel people glancing at him. That Asian man was a Korean, and his name was Yoon Isang. He reminisced about the time that happened one year ago. What is so lacking that, Mr. Yoon, you've decided to study abroad? Europe is very far. Why are you willing to go under so much trouble? People shook their heads to Yoon, who wanted to go to Europe to study music. Yun had been teaching composition in a music college after the Korean War. His classes were very popular, and he received many awards for his composition. Nobody could deny that he had a bright future, but Yun thought otherwise. This is not enough. It's embarrassing if I am satisfied with what I have achieved so far. He was the type of person to be very strict with himself. Yun deliberated for many days and many nights and eventually decided to take a plane to Europe. He was 40 years old at that time. It was an age that was hard to start something completely new. He finally told his decision to his wife. My dear... I must apologize to you and our kids, but I wish to study music more in France and Germany. Yun's heart was heavy with the thought that he is sacrificing his family for his dreams. He felt guilty that he is abandoning the responsibility as a breadwinner. However, his wife showed an unexpected reaction. Good idea. You will be able to make even greater pieces after visiting there. He was moved. That is true, however, my heart is very heavy. If I stayed, our family would live a stable life. Do not worry about that. Children have me, and we are not separated forever. Oh, my dear, Yun was speechless. For his wife's consideration. Yun studied very hard in foreign countries. He entered Paris Conservatory and then Musikhochschule Berlin in Germany. In cold winters, he wrestled alone with sheets in a cheap boarding house. The only thing I can do for my family is studying music. Cold and hunger is nothing. Yun wrote notes while blowing his breath onto his cold hands. Yun loved family more than anything. He once sold an instrument at a dirt cheap price during the Korean War. It was a cello he cared for more than his own life. I always carried this cello with me even when I was chased by Japanese Imperial Police after opposing them. It was my priority when I had to hide. The music shop owner asked, wondering, Then why are you selling it now? To that question, Yun answered calmly, Without music, my life is meaningless. But a family is more important than music. What's the use of music if my wife and children are starving because of the war? 
The owner stared at Yun. He understood what he meant because he was the breadwinner as well. But he did not pay a lot for the cello. His lonely and excruciating study started to come to fruition year after year. German musicians applauded his pieces. Your music has a beguiling quality to it. Western culture and Eastern tradition are harmonizing in it. Local newspapers did not stint on praises either. The birth of a modern musician full of unprecedented personality. This made Yun hard to leave Germany even after finishing his studies. He called his beloved family to Germany instead. He said to his wife, People here love my music very much. I want to stay in Germany for a while and work on my pieces. The wife agreed this time as well. After that, he moved to focus on new material for his music. It was Sacindo from Cogurio he wanted to see it for himself. But there was a problem. Sacindo was in North Korea. What should I do? I really want to use Sacindo as an inspiration for my music. Yun decided to visit North Korea after much deliberation. To do so, you had to go through the North Korean embassy. Even if we are separated right now, South and North Korea are from the same blood. But it was a naive idea of an artist. Politically, it was a serious crime for a South Korean to go to North Korea. Yun was amazed by Sasindo in North Korea. Wonderful. It's even better than I imagined. I'm glad I came here. But the moment of rejoice didn't last long. Soon later, Yun was falsely accused of being a spia pai and put in prison for two years. He was eventually freed after many international artists had protested. Yun returned to Germany after that. He was freed, but the accusations remained. I hope for the day we reunify and live in peace together. I long for my hometown, but I have to remain in Germany for a while. The blue sea of Tongyong, his hometown, waved in his head every day, but he could not return to his home until the day he died. He was a proud Korean musician who lived a dark time. 